Well, for months, the pandemic has been having a negative effect on many people's emotions. It may lead to some actively, uh, actively actually attempting to avoid expressing their feelings. Eric Rittmeyer, mental toughness expert and veteran, joining me now. Good morning to you, Eric. Scott, good morning. Thanks for having me back again, buddy. Good to see you. Not a problem whatsoever. Hey, you know, when all this happens, talking about the expressions, people can really be left with a surplus of bottled up emotion. So what are the four common reasons that hold people back from expressing themselves? And I think the first one you want to talk about is basically trying to talk about how you feel, right? It is. See, the problem is we, we get no training on this, Scott. So we're, we're, we're raised, especially as boys, as men, we're raised to bottle up the emotion, don't express it. You know, boys can't cry. So we're not given any types of tools. We're not taught how to express the emotion. What do we do? We hold it in. We suppress it. It's like when we were kids and our parents would say, don't hold in your sneeze. Your lungs are going to collapse. It's the same thing with emotions. We have to find a way to express it and not suppress it. Yeah, and you, being of all people, a tough Marine, you can do it, so anybody can do it, right? If I, I can, anyone can, right? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, feeling alone in your mind, what is that all about? Yeah, we have this we have this innate gut instinct whenever we feel something if we're down if we're upset if we're sad if we're depressed we automatically feel like we're alone like we're the only person experiencing this that's a problem so what we do is we bottle everything up we're afraid to admit it so we don't learn how to express it and realistically lots of people go through the same stuff it's just we hold it in because we're afraid people are going to view us differently yeah and speaking of fear there's the fear of being weak. Some people do not have that and can express their emotions, but it's a big deal for a lot of people, Eric. It's a huge deal, and I do some stuff on this. Obviously, I goof off. I'm always silly with you, Scott. A lot of my shows, I'm silly, right? But um, I do get serious sometimes, believe it or not. And one of the times I get serious is when I talk about suicide, and this is this is a major problem. I deal a lot with veteran suicide. Uh, my, my thought there is that, you know, in the military, we have this phrase, improvise, adapt, and overcome. In the military, we try to apply that towards real life mental health issues, and it just doesn't apply. So when we're overcome with these emotions, it's a sign of weakness. We feel weak. Some people view that as failure. And unfortunately, when it comes to suicide, it's a major problem. The last one you want to talk about, too many feelings just to even try to separate them out. Yeah, it's this layering, you know, so it's like if any one thing happens to us, it's not that big of a deal, but it's the when it rains, it pours mentality. So we have one thing happen on top of another thing on top of another thing. Before you know it, we're just overcome. We're totally intoxicated in emotion to the point where we're just incapable of functioning. That's a major problem. So if we're able to compartmentalize, that's officially the biggest word in my language. If we can compartmentalize our emotions, we're able to separate each one and not allow them to bleed over into each other. Where would... I was curious, where would you suggest people go for help? Obviously, there's the suicide hotline. Yes, you know, this is, this is another sensitive topic. I get a lot of this, Scott. You know, I do a lot of television, a lot of, a lot of media, and people are asking me for help. I'm very, very big on please consult with a professional, a medical doctor, reach out to family. I'm here for high level stuff. I'm here for the bubblegum stuff. But when it comes to very serious issues like suicide, it's critically important to reach out to people. There are tons of people that are willing to help, but you have to reach out for it and also reach out to a doctor, please. And or get somebody else to get help as well. Eric Rittmeyer, the Emotional Marine. Love your shirt, by the way, this morning. You're the man, Scott. Thanks for having me, buddy. Good to see you again. Not a problem. Eric Rittmeyer. Jess, over to you.